What's up guys, it is Thursday morning and we have just finished packing up the car. The car is actually just over there. Uh, this is where we slept last night. I got some crazy cool Astro stuff of this vehicle over here last night, but it's time to say goodbye to the old truck and make a mission to the new and improved Ranger FX4, which is what we've been cruising around in for the last few days and oh boy, has it been an adventure. Anyway, we are just about ready. I'm just waiting for Colin to finish up getting the last few things inside there. We're going to jump into the vehicle and we are going to head out of here and make our way through to the tank wickeroo. All right, so we've just left Volvo Kral now and I had a long chat to the owner, his name is Andre, uh, and he told me all about his old Ford Buckies that he's got out there. So the one that's in front of our, the, the one that was in front of our property and then the one that's in front of his house. Man, this guy's got a whole bunch of stories to tell. I will be back here one day and if you take Astro shots like I do, then come here, it's a beautiful place. But for now, let's hit the road and let's head towards Tank Wickeroo. Before we could head into the tank though, we were in some desperate need of some diesel as well as some lunch to keep our bellies satisfied during the long dusty drive through the desert to tank with tented camps. So after hooking a right off the R407 onto a strangely quiet N1, we made our way in the direction of Mikey's Fontaine, a little town with a lot of stories and ghosts apparently. Welcome to Mikey's Fontaine. This is supposedly one of South Africa's most haunted little towns and in fact the Lord Milder Hotel is actually haunted itself. Uh, we were just shown around by chance. I was standing over here and this guy was like, come on, I'm going to show you the Royal Suite. Just check this out and you'll see what I'm talking about. My name is Johnny. It's showtime, baby. Let me show you the Royal House where the Royal family drink high tea 1947. My mom was a tea girl. Showtime, baby. Follow me with your six pack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, bring that blonde. Let's check the other. Oh. Lady oh. Anne Milner. Can you see her? Mm. Now, that's me, eh? They took a photo of me and there's two little girls. They was tourists here. And there's Lady Anne Milner. And that mirror here is a hundred years old and still working. <laughs> and there's Nostradamus. One guy was a drunk, he said it's Elton Yankees. <laughs> so I work now, tour guide, wine steward, porter, sweep, and every night sing in the pub. One for the money and two for the show. Thank you. I want to show you quick that piano. You help me sing, man. We'll try. <laughs> So a quick eat and go in the sunshine in the back of the bucky. Look at these awesome chips that we got. They're like little potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mike is Fontaine. Isn't this a point? Okay, look at how stacked up this chicken mayo is and it's three slices of bread as well. Yo, Mikey's Fontaine really doesn't disappoint. Yummy. With food in our bellies, a tank full of diesel, and a whole lot of ghost stories from Mikey's Fontaine, it was time to make our way across the border into the Northern Cape, where a dusty adventure awaits in probably our favorite place in the whole of South Africa, the tank with Karoo. All right, we made it to Tankwa Tented Camps and can you tell that this used to be the home of the Africa Burn Festival flip. So yeah, we're out here in the middle of the Tankwa crew, 
There's a whole bunch of these structures and stuff that are still up, but I think we're gonna head out somewhere out there now because that is the actual old site where the festival used to take place. All right, so we're following this guy. He's gonna take us where we need to go for sunset. decided to come on a little night mission to the airport area of the Tankura burn site and Mike's going to take a photo over there of that little airport shack vibe. Check this out. We are literally the only people at this Africa burn site right now. And it's freaking dark. You can't even see Colin. This shit is down there somewhere. We've come here to shoot some stars, and it is a vibe. Wow. In the next episode of Ranger Great Drives, Colin and I leave the tanker in our dust, not without finding Cheslin Colby's spirit animal along the R355. With a quick stop in California to check out the largest post box in South Africa, we head off to Nevertville for the night, where there is the largest quiver tree in the Southern Hemisphere where we also found some sheep giving birth when we got there. Until next time, guys, make sure that you follow along on my Instagram, Life of Mike Sede. Ciao, ciao.